God bless you. Bless us. There a place for God bless you as you tune in. Go ahead and share the broadcast. God bless you as you tune in. Go ahead and share the broadcast. It's going to be a wonderful time in the presence of God. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Oh, there's a place. Just go ahead and share the broadcast for me. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Share the broadcast and God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Your case will never be the same. Your case will never be the same. Go ahead and share the broadcast. God bless you. God bless you. Do not waste your do not waste your evening. Do not waste your time as you come in. The devil is a liar. You're going to receive. Whomever the Lord has set free is free indeed. You're free from judgment. You're free from critics. You're free from condemnation. You are free from men's judgment. You are free from the judgment of man, from the judgment of your bosses, from the judgment of your friends. Why? Because the Lord has set you free. He went all the way to the cross of Calvary just to die for us. He went all the way to the cross of Calvary just to die for us. He has better plans for us than our friends have. Just go ahead and share the broadcast. I want you to bring it into God tonight. Whatever it does that is troubling you, whatever it does that is hanging in your life, whatever it does that you're believing in for, whatever it does you've been praying for, just bring it in tonight. And God is going to meet you at the point of your need. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Go ahead and share the broadcast. It is your time to be set free. God bless you, Flora Love. God bless you, Oni. Go ahead and share the video, sweetheart. Go ahead and share the word of your father. Go ahead and share the video that has to do with God Almighty. Go ahead and share. I just want you to click the share button. I don't want you to do anything for me tonight. Just share. Share as much as you can. Invite your friends. Invite your loved ones, your family, your colleagues. Just share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. The Lord is going to have His way mightily in this broadcast. The Lord is going to have a sway. Just go ahead and share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Some set free. Whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. You're free from everything. You're free from every pain. You're free from every sickness. Anything that is holding you bound, you're free from it. Dora, you're welcome. Javi, you're welcome. Go ahead and share the broadcast for me. God bless you. Just go ahead and share, share. I want you to share, share. Share as much as you can. Bring people in to be blessed. Just go ahead and share for me. 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 Just go ahead and share for me. Go ahead and share for me. You are what God says you are. You are who God says you are. You are not under the prejudice of men. You are not under the condemnation of anybody. What God says you are is what you are. What the Lord has not decreed in your life is not going to stand. Whatever it has been standing in the past, tonight, whatever it is that God is not predestined when he was creating you from creation, it's not permitted to stand in your life. Just go ahead and share the broadcast. We want people to come in before we start. Hey, amen. 
not against me. I am who you say I am. Not forsaken. I am who you say I am. Don't for me, not against. When the Lord is for you, nobody is against you. Just go ahead and share the broadcast. Cry, not forsaken. I am who you say. I'm just doing some invites. I want you to do the same thing. I'm just sending out an invite. I want you to do the same thing. God bless you as you send. Just press the share button. 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 Invite people. The sun sets free. Who is free when dead? How much I love God, yes I am. In my Father's house, there's a place for you. Oh yes, how much I love God, yes I am. Blessings, 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 blessings. We're just waiting for more people to tune in. Whilst waiting for people to tune in, I'm going to play the last song for us. Whilst we wait for, while we wait for other people to tune in, we're just gonna play one more ministration. The name of Jesus is higher than every problem. Is higher than cancer. Is higher than heartbreak. Is I had an every disease. La 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 la. God bless you. 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 Just go ahead and share the broadcast. The name of Jesus is higher than every disease. Is higher than every cancer, every heartbreak, every infirmity, every disappointment, every lack, every failure, every setback. The name of Jesus is higher than. Our majesty is your name. Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Just go ahead and share as you come in. Our majesty is your name. Oh Lord, in all the end. Your name is so fairy. Glorious and great, and then we say, The name of Jesus. I have other names, we part of kings, no one a name like him. Come on and sing to Jesus and say, His name is higher than every other name. Wave your hand to Jesus wherever you are. Just wave your hand to Jesus. So we're listening to the name of Jesus. is higher than every other name by Sinach. Pour upon my soul. Name we overcome, and it's powerful. The name of Jesus, higher than the names, King of all kings, no one of them like him. Higher than the name, how far. No 
God, a name like His. The name of Jesus. Higher than cancer. Higher than heartbreak. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Higher than all the name. Alpha Omega, no other name like it. Hey, 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 hey. Every other names they are dead than dead. You just slid and rose again. We left to Maya. In your name, every knee shall bow. In your name, all men are safe. Salvation is salvation is salvation. Jesus, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus. Just go ahead and shout Jesus. Just go ahead and say Jesus. Just go ahead and say Jesus. Situations bow by the name of Jesus. And bless you, Lord. All things are possible in your name, Jesus. Everything is possible in God's name. Everything is possible in God's name. Everything is possible in God's name. In your job, everything is possible. Every financial situation, Lord, we call on you. Everything, everything, everything. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus upon my family. Jesus over every situation. Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you're watching from, may the good Lord bless you. I welcome you. I welcome you to this broadcast in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I welcome you. In the premises of God again this time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Good night. So if it is your first time for viewing into this broadcast, like I said, 
we are not really gonna take much time today today i just came on real quick i just came on real quick i just came on real quick on monday usually we have our monday fasting and it goes from 6 to 12 and we finish and we do prophetic declaration and that was the prayer we prayed for everyone that was in on monday so if you're just watching for the first time and you're not away please keep a date on mondays and key in and see what the lord will do for you god has been doing tremendously for people god has been touching people's lives in so many ways god has been doing so great for all of us god has been doing so great for all of us so i welcome you in the name of god the father son and the holy spirit i say may the good lord bless you as you tune in it's going to be a night you will never forget because the good Lord is going to ride. The good Lord is going to encourage you. The good Lord is going to talk to you. You're bringing your problems. You're bringing your sickness to the Lord. So we, we are quickly going to pray. Just close your eyes wherever you are and let us pray. Father, we thank you. We worship you because you're God. We honor you because there is none like you. Alpha and Omega. You have been faithful. You have been kind. You have been precious. Lord, from January to November, you remain the same. We have come, Lord, to fellowship and to thank you, saying that there is none like you. Father, thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for sustaining us, Lord. Even when we are not righteous, Lord, you are still faithful to us. We've sinned against you in so many ways, Lord, that we are not worthy to call your name in any way. But because you went to the cross of Calvary, Lord, for a day like this, for a time like this, we call upon you, mighty Jesus, that as your children, as fellowship, in your presence once again to hear from you lord i decrease lord for you to increase whatever it is that is going on in our lives father we are bringing it on your table we are going to lie them down on your table lord it is for you it is not for us father you're going to fight those battles and give us the victory that people in the world will know that truly you are god thank you lord jesus because i know you will do more than revise because we've asked through all this prayer through jesus christ our lord amen and amen god bless you okay so today i touched the video that you're bringing whatever it is that is worrying you whatever it is that is disturbing you into the presence of god the topic was bring your problems to the lord you're bringing that problem to the lord I don't care what your problem is. I don't care if it is lack of job. I don't care if it is marital. I don't care if it is a relationship. I don't care if it is healing. I don't care which part of your body you're seeking. I don't care where people have neglected you. I don't care how long you have been mocked. I don't care how long these things have been going on in your life. But, to, but today, 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 today right now, you're bringing it to the Lord and you're leaving it on the table because you cannot handle it. You have carried it for so long. You have prayed about it for so long. You have been handling it your own way. Today, we are coming to bring whatever it is that is troubling us, whatever it is that is standing on our ways, like a barrier, like a blockage, like a problem, like tears, whatever it is that we are going through in any area of our lives, we are bringing it to the Lord and we are leaving it on his feet we do not know where to go with those problems we cannot keep moving around with those problem some of us the problem is the people in our life some of us the problem is our no job some of us the problem is our children some of us the problem is our husbands some of us the problem is our wives some of us the problem is our neighbors whatever area it is that you're going through whatever it is that you're you're believing God for that you want to bring to his feet tonight just begin to put it down if you cannot if you if you have a prayer point and you want me to pray for you if you have something that you you say oh this is what i want to bring to the feet of the lord just begin go ahead and write it go ahead and write it we are bringing all that which we have harbored for so long some of us we have so kept it on us that it, our shoulders are achy because of the problems that we carry our neck is so achy because of the problem that we carry our eyes are so teary because of the problems that we carry our lips are full with sorrows because of the problems that we go through every day but today we can no longer carry these problems because we cannot fight our own problems we are bringing the problems to the lord because we know that when we bring our problems to the lord that the lord will fight our battles and the lord will give us victory what are you going through in your job what are you going through in your marriage 
what are you going through in every way that you are in your life and you're thinking that you know what my case is gone no your case is not done you are bringing that problem you're bringing that tears you're bringing that issue to the lord tonight and you're leaving it at his feet you're leaving it at his feet you're telling the Lord, you know what, Lord Jesus, I have been with this problem for so long. Some of us, people have known us with that problem since the people met you in 2002. The same problem you had is still what you're carrying over into 2018. The people that you knew since you were born, the same problem they know you with is what you're still carrying. The people that you knew right from when you were in school, the same problem they knew you with is what you're still carrying. The people that you knew when you were back wherever you were back in, 10 years has passed, 20 years has passed. Your case is remaining the same. Tonight, the Lord Jesus is breaking every yoke of such in your life because you're going to leave it on his feet. And whatever you leave into the hands of God, whatever you bring to the feet of God, whatever you bring into the premises of God, whatever you bring into the midst of God, you can never go back the same. Because when Jesus takes away your problems, he takes away everything. When Jesus takes away your sorrows, he takes away your sickness. When Jesus takes away your sickness, he takes away your lack. Whatever it is that you have been struggling with, whatever it is that you've been crying with, whatever it is that you've been lamenting with, whatever it is that you've been troubling you so well, that you do not know what to do with it, that you do not know where to go with it, that you cannot move forward in life because of this problem. you got to put your shoe in, the, in that woman that had the issue of blood. When she had an encounter with Jesus, her life was never the same. When blind Bartimaeus had an encounter with Jesus, his life was never the same. When I Anna had an encounter with Jesus. Her life was never the same. When Esther had an encounter with Jesus, her life was never the same. So today, as you're going to have an encounter with God, your life is not going to remain the same because you're bringing whatever it is to the foot of the Lord. You're bringing whatever you're carrying, that body, that tears, that sorrow, that, 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 that marriage that is almost at the verge of grumbling that relationship that is not working for you you're bringing it at the feet of the lord and the lord is gonna take it off your shoulder that job that you do not have that money that you do not have those children that you do not have that relationship that you do not have that sickness that is pending on your way you are leaving it at the feet of the lord tonight and the lord is taking it away from you that marriage that you are crying about that relationship that is not working out for you the money that you do not have the house that you do not have the car that you do not have the lament that you're going through every day as you wake up you're bringing it at the feet of the lord tonight and you are leaving it right there and the lord is going to attend to it it doesn't matter who is worrying you it doesn't matter who is fighting you it doesn't matter who is chasing you whether it is from your mother's side whether it is from your father's side whether it is from your job place whether it is from the church whether it is from your neighborhood whether it is from the things that you have done whether it is from birth whether it is inborn today the Lord is taking it off from you. You have sat down with that problem for so long. You have sat down in that problem for so long. You have been so quiet in that problem. The time for you to get up and begin to fight is now. Remember what happened to the woman in the issue of blood. She says, if only I can touch the garment of the Lord, all my problems will be gone. If only I can touch the aim of his garment. If only I can touch the aim of his garment. What manner of faith? What manner of faith? Today are you lacking? Today are you sad? Today are you depressed? Today are you lonely? Today Today are you down? Today are you are you under anxiety? Are you going through cancer? Are you going through depression? Are you going through hypertension? Are you going through diabetes? What is it that you're going through? Are you under drugs? What is it? Are you homeless? As the world forsaken you? Are you tired of life? Are you suicidal? Tonight, today. The Lord is taking all of that off from you. Begin to tell the Lord, I'm taking out every negativity, every negativity out of my life. I'm taking away every negativity, every tears of my life, every sorrow of my life, every burden of my life, every lamentation of my life, every lack of my life. I am bringing it to, the, to you, Lord. I want you to fix me. 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 When the Lord fix you, when the law fixes you up, no, nobody 
You might be going to churches. You might be going to places. You might be going to so many places. You might be doing so many things. You might be fasting. You might be praying. You might be following. But I want you to know something. That as the Lord is stepping into your situation, that your case will never remain the same. 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 Those who laughed at you yesterday, today you're bringing the laughter of, of those people into the foot of the Lord. By the time God deals with that situation, you will not be with laughed at anymore. You will be celebrated. The people that laughed at you will begin to celebrate with you. The people that did not stand by you will begin to stand by you. The people that did not believe in you will begin to believe in you. Why? Because tonight, today, you're bringing every problem of your life to the Lord. You are bringing every problem of your life to the Lord. What is it? What is it that is going on with your life? If you have a prayer request, go ahead and write it and I'm going to pray with you. What is it that you're going through? Diabetes is nothing compared to what the Lord will do in your life. Diabetes is nothing compared to, the, the, to, 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 the, to, to, the, to, to how God raised Lazarus. Hypertension is nothing compared to the issue of blood. Cancer is nothing compared to the miracle that God did whilst he was on earth. Why not trust him? Why not believe in him? Why not cry unto him? Why not bring all your burdens? Why not bring all your burdens? Why not bring all your burdens to the God who can answer by fire? Why not bring all your burdens to the God who will never forsake you? Why not bring all your burdens to the God that will stand by you? Why not bring all your burden to the one that knows you? Why not bring all your burden to the one that says you will be right there for you when nobody is there? Why not believe in such a God? Why not trust in such a God? Why not believe in him? Rambade Shankabo Ida Rabo Senkede Ramadada Boshkaya Ide Kede Ramadada Bakaraya Senke Rabo Reshibo Shankara Maraskaya Rabo Skebo Reskebo, Reskebo. Thank you, Jesus. Ramsaya, Ramakambo se. Ramakanda bosh kayesh kaya kaya. Kaya kaya. Darabash kalale bosh ke. Iramadada bo kaya. Ramabos kaya 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 kaya. Oh, leave it there, just leave it there, just leave it there. Bring your problems to the Lord and leave it there. Oh, He will surely deliver you when you put your trust in Him. Bring your problems to the Lord and leave it here. Ah, Rambodo, Rambara, Kawaskaya, Rambalobos, Kenkede, Rambara, Labos, Kenkera, Boskaya, Ramada, Boskeskaya. Ramabos kaya 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 kaya. Oh, leave it there, leave it there. Take your problems to the Lord and leave it there. He will surely deliver you. Just let it. Yeah, yeah, it's of mine, oh friend. What? Problems to the Lord and leave it there. I want you to bring it, leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. He will surely deliver you. When you put your trust in Him, take your problems to the Lord and leave it there. Whatever it is that you're going through, 
whatever it is that you're believing God for, whatever it is that is not happening in your life, whatever it is that is not working in your favor, whatever it is that the enemies have designed, whatever it is that you lost in the past, whatever it is that is not coming to pass that you've been believing and seeking the face of God for, today you are bringing it to the feet of the Lord and you are leaving it there. Because there is no how you can bring something to the Lord that the Lord will not fix it up for you. There is no how you will bring something to the Lord that the Lord will not step into your case. There is no how you bring something to the Lord that the Lord is not faithful and righteous to deal with it. There's no how you bring something in the presence of the Lord that the Lord will not take it away from you. I don't care how long you have stayed in that situation. I don't care how long you have stayed in that problem. I don't care how long that problem has been disturbing you. Tonight, I want you to believe something that you're bringing your problems to the Lord and you are leaving it at His feet. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I begin to pray for your children right now, Lord. Whatsoever it is that is troubling each and every one of us, in one way or the other, Father, be it in our marriages. Father, be it in our relationship. Father, be it in our jobs. Father, be it with our children's health. Father, be it in our children's education. Father, be it in our finances. Father, be it in the lives of our husband. Tonight, Lord, I speak that we have brought this problem under your feet, Lord. That today we are bringing this problem under your feet, Lord. Because the Bible makes me to understand, Lord, that whatever it is that we leave into your care, Lord, that you will take care of us, that you will deal with it, that you will fix it all up for us. Father, when we are down to nothing, you are the God that raises us up. Father, when we were sick, you were the one that gave us healing. Father, when we had nothing to eat, you were the one that provided for us. Father, when life was so tough, you were the one that brought destiny help us. Father, when friends forsook us, Father, you stood by us and you fought for us and you rescued us and you raised us high and you gave us victory. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, today I begin to pray as I pray now, Lord, that every burden in our life, that every trouble in our life, that every sorrows in our life, that every tears in our life, in any way that is troubling our soul, Lord, that you will bring it to pass for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we have brought everything under your care. We have brought everything under your feet because we cannot deal with it anymore. Father, we can no longer take it. Father, we can no longer handle it, but we know that you can handle it, but we know you can take care of it for us, Lord, because you are our creator, because you are our omega, Lord, because you are our redeemer, Lord, because you are our savior, Lord, because you are our helper, Lord, because you are our provider, Lord, because you are our guidance, Lord, because you are the great king, Lord, because you are our winner, Lord, because you are our creator, Lord, because you are our maker, Lord, because you make a way where there seems to be no way, Lord, and you say you will not forsake us, and you say you will not leave us like the comfortless. Father, this today, that's why we have come to you, Lord, begging that we are bringing our problems, Lord. The songwriter says, bring your problems to the Lord. It doesn't matter what it is that you're going through. Just bring your problems to the Lord. Tonight, Lord, Father, we have decided to bring our problems to you. Today, we have decided to bring our problems to you because we can no longer deal with these problems, because we can no longer handle these problems, Lord. That's why we have brought it to your throne of grace. Father, fix this problem for us. Father, in every area of our life that we are going through problems, that we are going through tribulations, that we are going through anxiety, that we are going through suicidal thoughts, that we are going through lack of money, that we are going through lack of job, that we are going through every form of anything, Lord. As we pray today, Lord, as we pray today, Lord, as we pray today, Lord, as we bring these things under your feet, as we bring our problems to you, Lord, we want you to solve it for us, Lord. We want you to solve it for us, Lord. You want you to solve it for us, Lord. In as much as the people in the world, our friends in the world, our sisters in the world, our parents in the world, when we have a problem and we go to them, Lord, and begin to tell them our problem, they give a solution to our problem. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, how much more you are our creator, how much more you are our maker, how much you are our redeemer, how much more you are our alpha and our omega, how much more you are our way maker. Father, today as we bring everything to your feet, Father, we pray that you will restore us. Father, we pray that you will restore us. Father, we pray that you will restore us. Father, we pray that you will heal us. Father, we pray that you will uplift us. Father, we pray that you will encourage us. 
Father, we pray that you will step into every dead situation and begin to resurrect everything in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be it in our jobs. Father, be it in our health. Father, be it in our finances. Father, be it in any form of our lives, in the life of our husbands, in the life of our wives, in the life of our family, in the life of our siblings, in the life of our relatives, in our ministry, Lord, in the life of everybody that call upon you in spirit and in truth, in the life of our friends, Lord. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus. Father, I plead the Lord, the blood of Jesus. I say, Lord, you are a merciful God. You can never forsake us. You can never put a broken heart into shame. You can never reject us. You can never neglect us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we come into your presence today and bringing our presence to our problems to your feet. Father, we pray that you will fix our problem up for us. Father, we pray that you will solve every problem that is attacking us in one way or the other. Father, that you will turn our life around. The Bible makes us to understand, Lord, that the thought that you have for us, Lord, I hope good and not of evil, to give us an expected hand. Father, come and give us our expected hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for this one. Flower love. I pray for you, Lord, today, that whatever it is that is troubling you, that whatever it is that has been on your way, that today as you bring those problems to the presence of the Lord, that as you bring that problem to the Lord and leave it under his feet, that he will fix it all up for you, that he will fix it all up for you, that he will fix it all up for you and give you the testimony that you deserve in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Josie, I pray for you. I pray for you in the name of God the Father that as you bring in your problem today into the presence of God that as you bring in your problem today at the feet of the Lord that the Lord will fix you up in the mighty name of Jesus. Jeffrey Singh, I pray for you today that as you bring your problems to the feet of the Lord that the Lord will fix you up of every problem. That the Lord will fix you up of every problem. Whatever it is that has been standing on your way that the Lord will fix you up in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't today i pray for you that as you bring every problem of yours to the presence of the lord now and leave it on his feet that the good lord will fix it up for you that your life will never remain the same that those who mocked you will see you and they will see a difference i cover this broadcast with a precious blood of the lamb i cover this broadcast with the precious blood of the lamb and i begin to ask the god almighty that whatever it is that the children are going through in one way or the other whatever it is that the children are believing in for whatever it is that we have come into the lord's presence from that the lord will see us through and begin to do great and mighty things that even as the rest of the people will watch this broadcast later that the good lord will step in and begin to touch their life in so many ways in the mighty name of jesus i I cover everyone on this broadcast with the blood of Jesus. I say, Lord, whatever it is that is troubling them, for the people that wants to travel, for the people that wants to get promotion in their job, for the people that want healing in their health, for the people that are looking for miracle morning, for the people that are looking how to pass their exams, for the people that are looking for how to make that project that they are ending to be successful, to everybody that is believing in you, Lord, as they come into your presence and bring this problem to your feet lord may everything works in their favor lord may everything works in their favor lord in the mighty name of jesus 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 people keep talking they keep saying what they like but we are not worried lord we keep moving focus because we know that you are with us if god be for us lord who can be against us is our only helper is your only helper don't be deceived don't be moved by what you see don't be moved by what you hear nobody can actually help you every help comes it from the Lord. It is the Lord that helps. It is the Lord that opens way. When you begin to put your trust in him, the Lord will begin to showcase you. The Lord will make every battle of your life to come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory almighty, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. All the glory must be to the Lord. All the honor must be to the Lord. All the adoration must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. For 
he is worthy of our praise. For he is worthy of our praise. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth, Lord. No man on earth, Lord. No man on earth, Lord. They can deceive themselves and give glory to themselves and give glory to their names and give glory to their positions and give glory to their tenure and give glory to their level and give glory to their status but it is in vain you are the only god lord you are the only alpha you are the only omega you are the only creator that created us lord you are the one that we are coming to give our praises to you're the one that we are giving our prayer tonight to you're the one that we are giving our prayer today to and lord we are praying and lord we are begging and lord we are interceding father we decree and we declare that whatever it is that has troubled us in our lives whatever it is that we have been going through in our lives in our relationship in every area of our lives father tonight today we are bringing it to your presence we are bringing all the problems to the lord we are bringing all the problems to the lord we are bringing all our problems to the lord we are bringing all our problems to the lord and we are living it here lord 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 May he please you, Lord. 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 May he please you, Lord, to solve every of our problems. May he please you, Lord, to step into every situation of our problems. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Lord, I love you. Holy Spirit of God, I love you. Holy Spirit of God, I reference you. My Father, my Maker, I reference you. My King of Glory, I give you the glory. My King of Glory, I give you the thanks. My King of Glory, I give you the adoration. My King of Glory, I give you all the glory. May all the glory, may all the honor that no man on earth will ever have be a stripe unto you forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we adore you. Father, we reference you. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Father, we give you the praises. Father, we worship you. 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 Come, Holy Spirit of God, we need you. Come, Holy Spirit of God, we need you. Come and be our strength, Holy Spirit. Come and be our power. Come and be our own divine director. Come and have your own special way. Come and have your own special way. Come and have your own special way in everything that we do, in our jobs, in our marriage, in the lives of our children, in our family, in every endeavors of our life. Come and have your way. 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 There is none like you, Lord. We reference you at this minute. We reference you at this moment. We reference you at this level. We reference you for who you are. We give you the glory for what you've done. We give you the honor for what you continue to do. Thank you, Jesus, for who you are. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. May your name alone be glorified. May your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I just want to tell you something. If you are sad, come to Jesus. If you are depressed, come to Jesus. If you are going through anxiety, come to Jesus. Bring it all up to Jesus. If, you're, if you think that you have been down, if you do not know if you have lost your self-esteem, if you have lost your self-worth, if you have loved the love of yourself, if you have loved your, 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 your value, I want to assure you that you are not valuable, that you are not, you're, 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 you're not, you're not, you're not devalued, you're not disabled, you're not out of, you're not out of worth, you are not worthless, you are not a shame, you are not the last, you are not useless so anybody that is trying to make you think otherwise about yourself is a liar the bible says that god has created us to be the angels little gods little gods whom are higher than the angels in heaven so you have a very great potential in the lord you have a very a very good place in the lord except you are not in the lord then you are still wanting except you are not in the lord then you can be you, you can be worthless except you are not in the in the war in the lord then you can be worth you can be nothing valueless but if you're in god if you remain in the in the creator then you are everything you worth everything you deserve everything you are precious 
the Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. If he did not love you, he will not go and die for you. He went to die for you because of his endless love, because of his reckless love, because of his majesty, because of his glory, because of his salvation. Salvation that we have today is because God went all the way to the cross of Calvary to go and give it all up. That is why we have the that is why we have the salvation today. That is why we are working in peace. That is why we're working in love. That is why we're working in unity. That that is why we're walking in freedom that is why we're walking in liberty because God gave it all up for us do not allow anybody to bring you under condemnation do not allow anybody to devalue you do not allow anybody to speak negatively about you do not allow anybody to bring down your self-esteem do not allow anybody to put you down I don't care if you're sad I don't care if you've been down I don't care how long you've been down I don't care how long you've been suffering but the Lord is taking every negativity off your shoulders off your arms of your body of everything and the Lord is restoring you with prosperity with good health with long life with fame with jobs with with, with opportunities open doors destiny helpers divine connectors marriages whatever it is that you're believing God for it is hereby released unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever your heart desires, whatever your heart desires from the Lord is hereby released unto you. Receive your blessings. Receive your miracle. Receive your good health. Receive your money. Receive your success. Receive your children. Receive your husbands. Receive your wives. Marital blessings. Marital blessings. Miracle blessings. Miracle money. Financial blessings. Financial blessings. Financial blessings blessings divine health divine health divine health divine health divine health divine health work promotions work promotions trouble free life stress free life sickness free life is here by release unto you say by release unto your generation here by release unto your children here by release unto your wives your beds are blessed your water is blessed everything that you lay your hands to do is blessed for those of us that are living abroad the season of winter is here again accident shall not be your portion accident shall not be your portion accident shall not be your portion you shall go out in flying colors and you will return in flying colors no devil is permitted to dwell on near you near you no devil is permitted to come near your dwelling place your children are covered with the precious blood of the holy ghost your children are covered with the precious blood of the lord the blood of the lamb the blood of the lord that speaketh better things than the blood of abel is here by our portion is covering us like a shell is covering us like an umbrella is covering us like a domain that it says if the Lord be for you, who can be against you? When the Lord stands for you, who can stand against you? When the Lord visited the children of Israel, they were like them that dream dream. Their captivities were turned around and they began to blossom. Today the Lord is visiting you. It doesn't matter how long you have stayed in that situation. He is coming to take it off your shoulder. He is coming to take it off your body. He is coming to take your body away. Go, it just begin to sing. He has taken my burdens away. God has taken my burdens away. Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. One more time, God has taken my burdens away. God has taken my burdens away. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. I just want to announce to you that the Lord has taken all your burdens away. The Lord has taken all your problems. The Lord has taken all your sickness. The Lord has taken all your lamentation. The Lord has taken all your all, 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 all your snatching of the teeth. The Lord has taken all your lack. 
The Lord has taken all your tears. The Lord has taken all your weaknesses. The Lord has taken all the I cannot do and has given you the I can do. The Lord has taken all the impossibilities and given to you possibilities. The Lord has taken everything that was that, that was not designed for you when he was creating you. He has taken it off from you. He has taken it off from you. He has taken it off from you. It is gone 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 from you. From today, from today, from now henceforth, you will begin to feel new. You will begin to feel strength. You will begin to feel love. You will begin to feel energized. You will begin to feel relief. You will begin to feel joy. You will begin to feel love. The last battle you fell, the last battle you lost, is the last you will ever lose. Every other thing that you will lay your hand to do, you will succeed in it. The last you wait, the last you failed your, that exams, is the last you ever fell. The last money you begged for, is the last you ever beg for the last food you begged for is the last you ever beg for the lord is visiting you in every area of your life in a different dimension the lord is visiting you in a grand style the lord is visiting you with good news the lord is visiting you with testimonies the lord is visiting you with open doors the lord is visiting you with divine health the lord is visiting you with an announcement that will shock the world the lord is visiting you with with a testimony that will shut the mouth of your enemies forever. The Lord is visiting you with a miracle that will silence your enemy forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just go ahead and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus for blessing us so much. Thank you Jesus for the miracle, for the signs and wonders, for the testimony. Thank you Jesus. There is none like you. May your name alone be glorified. May your name alone be glorified Lord. May your name alone be glorified Lord. May your name alone be glorified Lord. Lord, I worship you. I worship you. I reference you. I magnify you. I give you the glory from the heart of my heart, from the depth of my heart, from a great, great heart of gratitude. With a humble spirit, I say thank you, Lord. With everything, the every breath in me, Lord, I have come to say thank you to you because there is none like you. May your name be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Remain ever blessed. Remain ever blessed. You are the next testifier. You would testify whether the devil likes it or not. Your testimony is on the way. And until you testify, heaven will not rest on your case. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys so much with the love of God. And my greatest wish, above all wishes for you, is that you will make heaven at last. Is that we will make heaven at last. Heaven at last is what I wish each and every one of us. Be kind to people. Be true to yourself. Love your neighbors. Don't be a false witness against your neighbors and see how God will decorate your life. I bless in the name of God the Father. I bless in the name of God the Son. I bless in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I cover you with the precious blood of the Lord that you will never lack. All the days of your life, you will never lack again. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Remain ever blessed until I come your way again. Love you. Bye.